Internet of Elephants started with a question. How can we get millions of people around the world much more engaged with wildlife? People love animals, and there's all sorts of evidence that people love animals, but very little of that actually translate into conservation benefit. We started thinking about the Internet of Things, and like, wow, if people can be connected to other people around the world, and they can be connected to their cars, and they can be connected to their refrigerators, what if they could be connected to elephants? What if they could follow the life of a jaguar in Brazil, or follow the life of an orangutan in Borneo, and what if tech could facilitate that? Basically, you're using AR, gamification elements, so a lot of buzzy stuff going on there. How did you decide what to use and for what purpose? Yeah. We didn't set out to use AR, but we looked at what are the different things that are going to make wildlife that's going on thousands of miles away relevant to you in the context of where you might be, whether that be an urban city or even a suburb in Europe or anywhere else. We started to partner with conservation organizations that are studying these animals. So they have all this data that's going on that nobody has access to. We then go ahead and say like, okay, well there's an elephant that's living in Kenya and it's living this life. How can that become relevant to you in the context of living in uh, Chicago, for instance? Okay, so I know you're using data from the conservation groups for mm -hmm. migratory patterns. Yes, And you're exactly. using that in the game. How much work is going into yeah the materials that you're using, the content no. for your... We don't go and film animals, so most of the content that we deliver is the visualizations and the gamification of the data itself. Initially, it may just seem kind of boring that there's this dot moving around on a screen, but if you visualize it, and if you storytell behind it, and if you create these animals in augmented reality, and this entire drama of a wildebeest migration or a, a jaguar as a territorial behavior, all of that comes into your phone, and we're able to get some level of scientific information, but a lot of storytelling. 